Some pro wrestlers are already legitimately terrifying dudes that you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley anyways. But then you have the real freaks that come out at night. These scary good grapplers are so horrifying that they make you hide behind the sofa, look out over your shoulder, and remind yourself that wrestling is just fake, right? That being said, I'm Kevin Callis, this is Wrestling Behind the Themes, and you better subscribe right now or else, because here are the 15 eerie entrance theme songs that fuel my nightmares. He's back, and perhaps more sinister than ever. But with Bray Wyatt having gone through multiple personality shifts during his unconventional wrestling career, his masked madman, Alter Ego the Fiend, and his peculiar pack of puppets were a disturbing and demented double team. Out of the darkness, everything came together at a stale point in WWE programming to produce one of the scariest acts of all time. However, it's the creepy and killer reimagined remix of the Wyatt family's original theme song by Grammy Award winning heavy metal band Code Orange that rages with the words hurt and heal becoming an eerie earworm. Many wrestlers have claimed that they are the ruler of the squared circle, but only one superstar has the rightful claim as the master and ruler of the world. Standing at nearly seven feet tall, Sid Vicious was one of the most physically imposing superstars in wrestling history, but it wasn't until Sid snapped that he fully reached his humongous potential. Psycho Sid became the WWE's version of a horror movie serial killer, a sadistic competitor who stomped to the ring to this Jim Johnston theme that obviously incorporates some of the scary string work from the movie thriller Psycho. Clowns scare a lot of people, and throughout pop culture, they're inescapable. From Stephen King's It franchise to John Wayne Gacy, the once friendly character is now forever a frightening fiend. In the WWF's new generation era, the Fed came up with the idea of their own clown character, giving birth to one of the most haunting wrestlers on this list. Doink the Clown started friendly, but slowly became the twisted clown that would cement his legacy. The gleam in his evil eye could not hide the monster that that lurked behind the makeup, and this theme music was psychotically perfect too. Dexter Loomis is a character committed to creepiness with every action he performs, designed to unnerve in the most frightening way possible. Loomis has the best death stare in the business, drawing you in with his pale blue eyes before his intense pupils drill straight into your soul. Adding further to his eerie gimmick is this sinister synthwave Stranger Things inspired entrance theme called Arrival that will surely have you peeking out over your bed sheets at night, hoping Dexter doesn't arrive in your home uninvited. Throughout the history of TNA, no star was more destructive or violent than the force known as the Monster Abyss. With Father James Mitchell in tow, when you heard the opening notes of his Down in the Catacombs theme, you knew destruction was on its way. Abyss frighteningly gave away so much of his body through the years to barbed wire and thumbtacks and glass shards. And while he is now working as a backstage producer with the WWE and able to leave the mask behind, Abyss will forever be synonymous with the Chaos that is Doomsday. Gangrel sure did reek. Not of garlic, but of the 1990s, with his Buffy the Vampire Slayer inspired character banging and banging in the WWE to the haunting whispers and eerie gothic like theme of Blood, the bone chilling song by former WWE composer Jim Johnston. Luckily for fans who have thirsted for more of this cult hero classic, the rated R Superstar Edge brought back this infectious banger for his SummerSlam 2021 match against Seth Rollins and also incorporated the legendary fire entrance that the brood used to have.
After having been released from his Ring of Honor contract in January 2021, the villain, Marty Skrull, has been noticeably MIA. However, Marty the Party is still one of the most unique personalities to come along in professional wrestling in years. Aside from being a great in-ring competitor, the UK-based Skrull stands out in a very intriguing way. The outfit, the bird mask, the umbrella, and his one true villain theme song is an eerily dark track with no vocals other than the occasional whoop whoop. Aside from the ninth wonder of the world, China, Karma is perhaps the most dominant female to ever step inside the squared circle. In an era where most of the WWE divas looked more like overinflated Barbie dolls than athletes, the wrestler also known as Awesome Kong was the anti-diva. But what made Karma even scarier was her Jim Johnston produced imposing entrance theme called Bad Karma. The maniacal laugh that echoed through arenas made the other divas quiver with fear, and this theme literally scares the pants off me every time I hear it. I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you. The Boogeyman was a bizarre creature featured in the mid-2000s WWE, with a constant craving for worms and a twisted desire to smash a clock over his head. Boogie would emerge from the backstage darkness, coming to get members of the SmackDown roster. And always good for a one-off appearance around Halloween or for the occasional Royal Rumble cameo, he wasn't so much a scary or spooky character, but just downright nasty. I mean, the dude literally ate Jillian Hall's weird facial wart thing. And just thinking about that right now, still haunts me to this day. From the fabled Isle of Samoa have come a great number of tough individuals who have dominated pro wrestling through the years. But few superstars have ever intimidated fans and crushed opponents like coconuts quite like the Samoan SWAT team, aka the SST. Managed on different occasions by Paulie Dangerously and the big kahuna, Sir Oliver Humperdinck, Samu and Fatu portrayed savages who wouldn't sell any moves attempted at their domes, almost like they were channeling their inner Michael Myers no sell selling for Jamie Lee Curtis. How fitting it is then that the SST used John Carpenter's theme from Halloween as entrance music. For 25 years, the Big Red Monster terrorized the WWE with his menacing presence and supernatural powers. Debuting as The Undertaker's younger brother at 1997's Bad Blood pay-per-view, Kane sent children running in fear after ripping the door off of the Hell in a Cell, manhandling the monstrous dead man, and setting the ring ablaze in a raging inferno. Over his Hall of Fame career, Kane emerged with various themes, but Veil of Fire is his most horrifying, sounding ominous A. F, the awe-inspiring church organ opening and groaning guitar throughout convey the devil's favorite demon's evil incarnation. This creepy theme sounds like a graveyard remix and was one of the scariest songs ever used by a WCW wrestler. From the mists of the arcane and macabre comes the mysterious masked warrior Mortis. Now, wrestling's version of Mortal Kombat back in 1997 caused many fans to unfortunately flatline due to the gimmick limitations with the blood runs cold angle. However, Chris Canyon stood out as the pit-fighting reptile hybrid with his innovative moveset and what was at the time I'm certainly one of the most amazing outfits to be worn in wrestling. During the early regional territory days of pro wrestling, a lot of fans didn't necessarily know that much about the world in general. So when the Ugandan giant Kamala was announced as hailing from the deepest, darkest jungles of Africa, stomping to the ring with a spear in one hand, shield in the other, and an absolutely crazy looking tribal mask, he scared the bejesus out of everybody. Now fans would normally flock down to the aisle to get a glimpse of practically every wrestler. But when Kamala made his entrance to this savage war drum theme music? Well, they just hightailed it for the rafters. The 
The OG horror show of WWE was none other than Papa Shango, who in the early 1990s spooked fans by bringing his voodoo, black magic, and eerie rituals to the world of wrestling. The witch doctor frightened anybody who watched WWE programming with his face painted up like a skeletal demon, while his frightening theme song played in the background like a looming fog sweeping over a murky swamp. Now, Papa Shango may not have achieved much in the way of success, especially since he had trouble telling time at WrestleMania 8, but things turned out okay for him in the end. No other superstar in sports entertainment has been surrounded by myth and legend like The Undertaker. From the moment he hauntingly debuted at the 1990 Survivor Series, the dead man has remained one of the most frightening figures not only in the squared circle, but in all of pop culture. Over his 30-year career, Taker's theme music evolved from a graveyard orchestral ode to the Phantom of the Opera, to the rap rock of Limp Bizkit and Kid Rock, and back to a funeral death march dirge, making the Phenom's entrance one of the scariest symphonies in the world of wrestling. 